Did you know that some antidepressants also help with anxiety? Hi, I'm Dr. Shaylin Sear. I'm a board certified psychiatrist and you're watching the Fem Health Channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about which antidepressants are also used for anxiety and how a doctor like me decides which ones to use and when. So while the name antidepressant indicates these medications are primarily used to help with depression, the word antidepressant is a bit misleading. This is because these medications are also great at helping with the symptoms of anxiety. Let's take a look. First, we have SSRIs or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. This category of drug is often the first choice or frontline treatment for anxiety disorders. SSRIs work by increasing serotonin levels in the brain. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that's important in mood regulation and decrease anxiety. Examples of SSRIs are fluoxetine or Prozac, escitalopram or Lexapro, sertraline also known as Zoloft, or Paxil or paroxetine. All these medications have FDA approved indications for the treatment of both major depressive disorder and anxiety disorders to include generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, social anxiety disorder, and obsessive compulsive disorder. After SSRIs, generally the second line treatment option would be a trial of an SNRI, which stands for serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors. These medications affect both serotonin and norepinephrine levels. Norepinephrine also helps in regulation of mood, energy, concentration, in addition to being involved in signaling of our fight or flight nervous system and regulation of pain signals in the brain. SNRIs like venlafaxine, brand name Effexor, desvenlafaxine or Pristique, and duloxetine, known commercially as Cymbalta, can be very beneficial for anxiety, especially when patients have co-occurring symptoms of fatigue or cognitive impairment or issues related to chronic pain, in which case a doctor may choose this as a first-line option. So how does a doctor decide which antidepressant to prescribe for anxiety. First, we evaluate the severity of the anxiety and always consider drugs that have the lowest side effect profile, especially in relation to an individual's other health conditions. It's important to take into account the presence of other mental health conditions. For example, if a patient has depression alongside anxiety, then we'll wanna choose a medication that can address both concerns as we've just discussed. It's important to recognize that antidepressants are not an instant solution. It will take several weeks for the full therapeutic effects to manifest. Generally, four weeks is when you should really begin seeing an effect. Also, while medication can be beneficial, therapy remains a cornerstone of comprehensive treatment. Therapy helps individuals develop coping mechanisms and strategies that are essential for managing anxiety in the long term. I never recommend just using medication to address one's condition. Medication is a tool in your arsenal to help you get to a place to really be able to implement self-care and wellness techniques. I hope you found this helpful. Subscribe below for more information direct from doctors.